Hi, my name is Michael, and today after a long pause, Zoli records a new IC station video, and in this video, he would like to show you another IC station product, an easy alcohol vapor detector. Let's see the connection diagram of the circuit. And now I ask my girlfriend, Allison. Please explain us how this circuit is working. With pleasure Michael. This circuit is mainly an alarm control circuit formed by the gas sensor group MQ3. When the sensor MQ3 is in the environment where alcohol vapor exists, the conductivity of the sensor will be the same as the alcohol vapor concentration. By measuring the voltage distribution between the sensor and the fixed resistor, the alcohol content in the environment can be judged. And now the circuit description. This circuit can be powered by from 5 to 7.5 volts DC power supply, switch S1 is the power switch, resistor R1 and LED D1 are used for power indication. The internal sensor MQ3 needs to be heated to a certain temperature during operation, so it's internal installation. There is a heating wire, the resistor R4 is the current limiting resistor of the heating wire, and the heating of MQ3 is normal after power on. When MQ3 does not detect alcohol vapor, its internal resistance is very large, the voltage drop of R3, RW is very low, the voltage of pin 2 of NE555 is lower than the trigger voltage, the third of the VCC, its pin 3 output is high level, D2 is extinguished. The buzzer does not sound and the relay does not move. When MQ3 detects alcohol vapor, the internal resistance decreases, the voltage of R3, RW rises, the voltage of pin 2 of NE555 is higher than the trigger voltage, the pin 3 output becomes low level, D2 turns on the light, and the buzzer flows. The current starts to sound, and the electromagnetic coil in the relay energizes to attract the switch, thereby implementing the detection alarm function. The adjustable resistor RW is used to adjust the detection sensitivity. This circuit uses a second comparator inside the NE555 to detect voltage changes, using its internal trigger to debounce. The pin 7 and pin 5 of the NE555 are not used and are left floating. The output terminal J3 of the relay can be used to control other electrical appliances, such as exhaust fans. When the alcohol concentration exceeds the standard, the exhaust fan is activated. After the concentration drops, the exhaust fan is turned off to realize automatic control. Diode D3 is used to eliminate the induced electromotive force generated when the relay coil is turned on and off. The power supply interface can be a DC plug, or the line can be directly at the J2 position, pay attention to the positive and negative signs, and the DC plug is internally positive and externally negative. Thank you very much Allison for your detailed explanation of the circuit. And let's see, what is in the bag? But first of all the product ID, which is 13602. So we have a nice double-sided PCB. An MQ3 alcohol sensor, 4 resistors, 1 small trimmer potentiometer, 1 diode, 1 green and 1 red LED, 1 IC socket and 1 555 IC, 1 active buzzer, 1 relay, and 1 DC connector and 1 small slide switch. And now after the listing of the components let's start to assemble the circuit. And now, Zoli will be so kind and quickly assemble the circuit for us. As always he solders the parts by their height, and starts with the lowest component, which is now the diode. Then he goes on with the resistors. R4, R3, R1, R2, then he solders the IC socket. This is followed by the two light emitting diodes. Then the on-off switch. And the active buzzer is also populated. And now he is planting the alcohol sensor. This is followed by the relay. And the power connector. Maybe he forgot the little trimmer potentiometer? No, now he finishes the soldering with that. I nearly forgot it, it was hidden on the table somewhere. And look, he has already turned it on. And it looks like he's changed the colors of the lights. Yes. The red is a better warning color than green. So now the green indicates that the device is operational because it is on, and the buzzer sound with the red LED light indicate the danger of alcohol. By the way, if I were the designer of this PCB layout, then the power LED would be closer to the power connector, and the alarm LED would be closer to the buzzer, and not as they are now, on the opposite sides. Michael, you are absolutely right. Okay, but how will he try to test the device? A few weeks ago I got a box of alcoholic chocolate bone bones for my birthday from Zoli. And I haven't opened it yet. So now I think that I ought to give him one piece for testing this interesting device. Thank you, Alison. Now Zoli opens the bone and takes away the box. 
shows the pure bomb and puts the sensor onto the table. He is eating the bonbon. And now he blows his breath onto the sensor. And yes, the sensor senses the alcohol vapor in his breath and makes an alarm. Now, with his hand, he imitates a fan, cleans the sensor, and stops the alarm. And now he blows into the sensor again. And now he measures the alcohol content in his blood with a real blood alcohol tester too. This tester calculates the blood alcohol content from the alcohol vapor content of his breath. He has to blow for 10 seconds. It seems a long time in this situation. Now there is the measured result on the screen. And a small kid also makes an alarm. But this is not a real result, because this vapor is only in his mouth for a short time. After a few minutes if he blows again into the meter or the sensor, they won't be measured or alarmed again. And now an important warning. There is an issue with the relay contacts. Here you can see a part of the relay data sheet. And here is a zoomed part of the pin layout and wiring diagram. And in parentheses that this is a bottom view. But I think that the PCB designer didn't care with this and designed the PCB layout as a top view of the relay, so he connected the normally closed contact to the J3 pins instead of the normally open contact. So if you want to close a circuit if there is no alcohol vapor, then you can use the kit as it is. But if you want to do something only when the kit alarms, then you have to cut the track as marked on the picture. Then remove the solder resist layer from the track as it showed now. And finally solder a short wire between this point and the right relay pin, circled here. Thank you Michael for this warning. I hope that these repairing instructions will be very useful for many people who build and want to use this interesting kit. I hope so Allison. And I am glad that I can share this information to Zoli's viewers. But now I think it's time to finishing this video. Yes, you are right as nearly always. But, but we, we have, have to mention, mention Zoli's, Zoli's message. message. This is an interesting kit, build it and use it for fun. Test your friend's breath with it. Zoli hopes that you know it is available at IC station for low price. And you won't forget to apply the coupon code which is mentioned in the video description for getting an additional 15% discount from the price. Even if it is a sale price. And, and we, we hope, hope that this video was interesting, interesting and useful, useful for you. you. If you want to see similar technical videos, subscribe to Zoli's channel. Click onto the small bell, and in that case, you will be warned if Zoli uploads any new video. Thank, Thank you, you very much, much for your watching. watching. Have, Have a nice day, day. and goodbye. goodbye.